Yo guys, what's going on Tim Pistil? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an animated pixel art gaming logo in Photoshop. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. A lot of you guys have been suggesting this after seeing my work um, like on, on Twitter and on my channel of the pixel art stuff. Um, so yeah, um, thanks so much for the sick support recently. Um, and I'll be definitely doing more stuff like this. If you guys want, just let me know down below. Hit the like button. If we break 100 likes, I'll release a free template for what I created in this video you'll see what I create. Um, let me know if you want to see more like this, like I said. Subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications. Um, I do stream daily and I, I upload every other day. So yeah, get them notifications on guys. And yeah, let's just get straight on to the video. Right guys, so we are here in Photoshop. So this is what we will be creating in today's video. Uh, we'll be doing the pixel art um, version and then I'll show you guys how to animate it like this. It's just a simple shine um, effect. Um, so yeah, um, you guys can do this with your logo as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's very easy to do. So the first thing, let's just go to File, New. And we're going to make a 1000 by 1000 document. Pixels, 1000 by 1000. And yeah, just do that. And we're just going to hide the timeline for now. We'll bring that back up later. So the first thing, you want to get your logo in there. I'm just going to paste in the phase logo just to work with that. And I'm just going to bring down the brightness a bit so we can see what we're doing. And I want to get rid of the outline, so I'm just going to go around to the magic wand tool. Um, and I just want the phase logo, so I'm going to press Control c Control v and then delete the other one. Um, so yeah, now we're going to put it in the middle like so. And you want to basically, whatever colour you want to choose, you choose. Um, I used blue for the example. Let's use a different one, like, uh, let's use like a green colour, maybe. So, in fact, I'll just, I'm just going to double click on the layer, go to colour overlay and choose a colour. Something like that I'm going to choose. And then I'm just going to rasterize it. And then what you want to do is go to image, image size and take off a zero off the end so it's 100 by 100 make sure it's on nearest neighbor hard edge and let's just zoom in and as you can see some of the pixels like the opacity of some of the pixels isn't quite right so i'm just going to go to the pencil tool make sure it's on one pixel press i on the keyboard and click and we're just going to fill in the places so like down here i think uh, that should be all right like that and then just bring it up I'm not sure if that's too thick one sec just go back I'm just gonna erase these two pixels here and then these ones down here I'll fill in yeah that's better that's better so yeah now once you've done that and um, you want to choose which side the lights gonna come from so if the lights coming from the left this side's gonna be all um, brighter and the right side will be darker so let's do that I'm going to choose a really light white colour, a uh, really light green colour sorry and um, yeah so we're just going to click on this side and then up here what I'm doing is I'm holding shift and it does it in like a straight line like so uh, and then there'll be a, a light there so yeah now what you want to do is um, on a new layer sorry I should have done that on a new layer but it should be all right um, but yeah just bring it across a little bit and then we're gonna just do that and do that and then over here do the exact same diagonal but I'm gonna do it a few times because it's longer on this side compared to here so I'm gonna do it a few times like so I'm gonna zoom in a bit so Boom, one, two, three. This part is probably takes long. It takes longer than the animating part, um, but it does end up looking very good in the end. So, yeah, let's do that. Do it three times or something until it's like properly faded in. So do it down here as well. But yeah, the final thing looks really cool. 
and you can add some colour corrections and stuff to it if you want as well which is what I'm going to be doing but yeah just keep fading it in moving the colours along over here it becomes quite hard to see towards the end but it should end up looking really nice so I think this will be the last colour and then we'll go on to the other side and do the darker colours one two three and then down here as well okay now once you've done that we're gonna click back on the green and move it down so it's a darker version and then on the right we're gonna do the same so that will be darker as well and over here and then I'm gonna press once there and then each time we go down it'll be a lighter color so yeah now we're gonna move it up so it gets lighter and lighter each time I should have done it on a new layer again you guys should do that as well but I don't think it'll matter so yeah just keep fading it in we'll do it three times over here like so and then press once down there and then here we'll just press up um, and yeah move it up a little bit more so you guys get the idea it's very simple um, but yeah this is a good um, right here I'm showing you about lighting as well not just how to animate it how to make a pixel logo it's I'm showing you guys some pretty cool cool techniques if you guys want to see more stuff like this on the channel let me know down below I know you guys do enjoy watching these type of videos but now instead of going to the next color I'm just gonna bring down the opacity of the pencil and I'm just gonna do the same so it fades in a little bit better and then right here as well down here and then down here as well I'm just gonna press a few times and then I'm gonna go back over this one here and then do one more like that so yeah it's uh, looking pretty nice right now uh, what else you can do is if, if you add a new layer and then go to white and then in certain areas make sure it's on 100 opacity again in certain areas just press and it creates a cool little texture I like doing this on top of overlays I like doing it on top of logos like this one right here it just adds something else obviously I'm gonna set it to overlay the um, blend mode but yeah, um, I could probably do this a little bit better, but you guys get the idea. I just want to show you a cool little technique, like so. But yeah, we're not going to keep it white. We're going to set it to overlay, and it it's just like a really bright, it gives a, a bright green color, and it looks really, really nice. So let's just do that. You can do the same thing, but with a darker color as well, if you want to go even further. But yeah, you guys can be creative with this logo. Once I've shown you how to do this, you'll be able to do many different things. Also guys, make sure you send, yeah, so uh, set it to overlay. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice. You can bring down the opacity of it as, as well, if you want. But yeah, um, if you guys want to send me anything over on Twitter at TempestHD, make sure you do so. I will review it and I'll give you my uh, review of it, yeah. So next thing, I'm just gonna go to the brush tool instead of the pencil tool go to this green that we've got going on and behind it let's just add a new layer I'm just gonna press once so we get a cool color I'm gonna just leave it like that and then I'm also um, at the very top add a new layer and go to white and then on the left side I'm gonna add a spot of white and set it to overlay um, but also one more thing that we need to do is if you behind everything but on top of the glow in the background the green glow we're going to add a new layer go to the pencil tool and make sure it's on white and we're just going to give the whole thing an outline like so um, so yeah I don't really want to do that I think it looks better if I do that I'll show you like now so instead of like filling in the corners it does look a lot better when it's done like that so yeah just keep going all the way around and yeah this white outline sort of gives it a cool reflective look 
Um, I would only add a white outline for something like this um, where it's shining. Um, so yeah, let's just carry on with this. So yeah, I'm not going to fill in that place there. But yeah, now you've got this white outline. You can leave the white outline like that if you want or you can set it to overlay and duplicate it a few times. You can also bring down the opacity of it. And also, if you want, you could go to the eraser tool, make sure it's on brush. And then on the right side, you can just rub away like so, which is what I'm gonna do. I didn't actually do that on the original one, on this one, um, but I think that looks really, really cool to be honest. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep it like that. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, we're gonna start animating it very easy. All you wanna do is just group everything together apart from the white spot of light at the top just everything that's on the logo so you've just got the logo there add a new actually no don't what you want to do is go to the rectangle tool make sure it's white and you want to make a thin strip like so rasterize it press ctrl t and then hold down ctrl shift and alt and click here in the middle and drag to the left like so and rasterize it uh, make, then you want to go to window timelines we can start animating it go to create frame animation and I'm just gonna oh, drag this down here so create clipping mask now and so for the first frame I want it to just be coming in so start about there and I want the opacity to be quite low about 30% then you want to add a new layer and with the arrow keys I'm going to move it along a little bit bring up the opacity a little bit as well then add a new layer move it along a bit more and bring up the opacity quite a bit so it's like that then add a new layer move it along a bit more and then bring down a little bit add a new layer and just keep going along bringing down the opacity until it's fully disappeared And then for the final few frames, eight, nine, and 10, um, we'll just hide the reflection now. Um, and I just want, the reason I've added three more frames where there's nothing is so that it just doesn't keep repeating and repeating really quickly. I want a little break and then it to reflect. Make sure it's set on forever as well, guys, um, so that it like just repeats itself. And then make sure it's on 0.1 second interval and then when you play it, it should look like that. And you've got a cool reflection going along. So it's all about frames and the positioning on each frame. So one frame, it'll be in one position. Second frame, it'll be moving along. And yeah, you guys can do extra things if you want, um, just to make it look cool. Like you can make a, the green in the background fade in and out. Um, that's easy, you just go to the opacity and then on one frame move it down, the next frame move it back up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's looking re really cool. Um, <clears throat> I actually set the light to soft light, I'm going to put that up to overlay. So yeah, that looks even better now, as you can see, without it, it just looks really nice. So yeah, that's pretty much how to make um, an animated, oops, that's how you make an animated pixel art gaming logo. Can we press play, maybe? very easy so yeah if you guys want to see more pixel art tutorials on the channel like how to make stream overlays how to make starting soon screens in the pixel art style and just more different animation techniques um, like this one let me know down below hit the like button um, if you want this template I'll, I can release it let's just break 100 likes uh, subscribe if you're new turn on notifications I upload every other day and I stream try to stream daily um, so yeah I'll be streaming tonight guys hopefully at 7 p.m. so stay tuned for that and yeah with that all being said I hope you're having a sick day today I'll see you in the next video